All right, guys, welcome to your 70th Android tutorial. If I sound exasperated, it's because this is the third time I've started recording this. I've been having computer wars, my computer blue screen, and then I it didn't, Marillus didn't save my recording settings, so I didn't record audio. I'm getting annoyed. Anyway, I'll plow through this one video. Uh, changes I've made. Uh, I'm just gonna go through what I did in the video. I'm not gonna retype everything because I'm just annoyed. Anyway. I simply added a new button just saying big text with ID big text and that's really it. There it is there big text. Okay. And each one of these has send big basic notification, big picture, inbox and big text notification. So let's look at the big text first. Um, in fact we'll look at something a little different first. We'll uh, ignore these here okay. I'll just comment out this style line and I'll show you something here. So. See this manager that notify eight and eight. These have the same ID. Now what that means is when we run this app on the device and we click basic, as you can see it says basic notification, okay, which is corresponding to what we have here. But if we click big text, it says big text notification. So the notif so what happened is it replaced the old notification in the drawer and got rid of it that way. That's essentially what happened here. The, the notification was replaced. But if we change this ID to a random set of characters or a random integer, so it's different, the ID has been changed. If we click basic and big text, the notifications come up like so. They come up together. They stack. So that's what that does. So uh, let's talk about notification styling. Um, there's three major styles of notification, big text, inbox and big picture. Essentially a big text notification means the notification will have a, big, a bigger text area. Um, the big picture means it will put a picture, so if you take a screenshot on a Jelly Bean device you'll notice that the notification has a, has a the screenshot in it, that's where that comes from. And an inbox notification has a list of information, um, you know, any, a list of information. So how do we add a style? Well, we're going to add a big text style first. So notification compat that big text style. You create your style object. You set the content for the big text style. Now I can't show you this very easily because the Android emulator is difficult to show this on. But as you can see, notification that big component style, big text open and content. So let's look at it now before it's open. So big text. As you can see, it says big text notification and then our default copy. And that's this down here, okay? But if we run it with the style line uncommented, you'll see the notification is in big view. And there we go, big text open and your content. So if you're running this on an actual device and you were to pinch the notification, I can't show that on the emulator without, I, well, like theoretically I could, but I'm just not going to. Um, there's big text open. As you can see, if I was to uh, pinch gesture this, it would shrink the notification down to the small version which would have our big text notification title. And then you pinch it open and it opens up again. I'm sure you've all seen this on your devices and you know what I'm referring to. Uh, so essentially how you create a style is, you create your style type object, you set the components of it, and then you set the style. And that's it. So for inbox notifications, it's the same thing again. Inbox style, set your content title, except in this one you add line. You add lines instead of set big text or big text. You said add line and when we run this, if I show you this notification, the inbox one, email open, email one, two, three, four in a line, in rows. So essentially it adds lines. This will be useful for an, e an email application, SMS, something like that. So if we were to move on to the big picture notification, same thing again, except you need to set picture and you need a bitmap. So I've created a bitmap here from decode resource, the bitmap factory that the decode resource method, which is get your resources and the drawable, which is the IC launcher, which is this image here. So that's just a launcher icon for the app. And that points to set your uh, big content style and if we go again, big picture, 
big picture open perfect and that's basically all I did in that video it wasn't very much um, that's how you do it so you simply you create your uh, uh, your style and then you import it and then you set the style on the builder and then you do as it before so it's actually really easy to create those big notifications and it's quite cool now things I've done before in the past was um, the pixel enemy app used to have notification system but I got rid of them for some unknown reason I think their website changed or something anyway I end up getting rid of the notifications I cut them out of the app but what I had was when the updating background task ran Let's say, you know, let's say you have a task polling a server or you get a message through GCM or, or something and you want to notify the user about one thing. Let's say you're looking at a list of videos and you want to notify the, the user of new videos from a certain YouTube channel. Let's say your app does that. So what happens is when you open, you could have, let's say they've only uploaded one video since the last time you've checked. Well then, you know, you could do big picture notification, which means it showed a thumbnail of the video. But let's say they have multiple videos uploaded. You could do an inbox style notification with the, t the titles of each video. As you can see, you can really uh, do some cool things, have your notifications adapt to what, to show the user more information. Now, in the next video, we're gonna go over notification uh, pending intents. And we've already covered that in, the, la in uh, the pending intent video, the advanced intents part six, I think. But I'm going to show you how to set actions on your notifications. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry for the rushed method and the pre-typed. All this code will be up on my GitHub by Twisted Equations. Just, I'm frustrated because I've done this tutorial already and my computer crashed. Don't ask me how or why I've been having issues. But anyway guys, if you liked the tutorial, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.